Hello and welcome to this exercise. In this exercise the goal is to take the original picture and convert it into this picture which you see on the right. The difference is that the picture on the right has darkened in corners and also some highlighting on the face. So I suggest that you give it a try, pause the video, close the video and in a moment I will start with the solution. Good luck! Okay, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is zoom into the face. And I'm going to draw this shady part underneath her hairline. I'm going to click on the Bezier curves and then I'm going to modify the nodes so that they follow the hairline a bit more. And I'm going to set the color to be the same as the color of the skin. Only a little darker, so let's open the stroke and fill and stroke dialog. Remove the stroke and darken the color a bit. That should be fine. Also I'm going to move this below the hair. So I'm going to lower the selection one step at a time until it's below the hair but still above the face. And I'm going to increase the blur to 4%. Next I want to remove this part. So in order to do that I'm going to select the face and duplicate it and then select the shading, shaded part and I'm going to go to Object, Clip, Set. Now let's see, I think I'm going to darken it even uh, further. Something like that should be fine. And I think I'm going to modify this node here so that it doesn't so that the shade doesn't quite cover this eyebrow. The next step is to draw the shading part on the right side of the face or her left side. Let's start another Bezier curve. and draw the shape like so. Let's give a fill, give it a fill and remove the stroke and move the object below the hair again and then duplicate the face, select the object, click on object, clip, set and smoothen out the shadow, this node and set a blur of 4% again. Let's make some modifications. So the next thing is to shade her nose. Assuming that she has a nose, the left side of it will be in the shadow and the right side of it will be in uh, the light, will be highlighted. So let's go to the Bezier curves. Set the blur to uh, 25%. And that's basically her face which has been uh, shaded. Next we're going to shade her body. Let's color it in. Remove the stroke. Set the fill. Let's set it a bit darker.
and let's move it backwards so that it's just behind the hair oh. so it's just behind the hair and let's duplicate the body mm -hmm. select the shade click on object clip set and now let's move it a bit lower like this yes that should be fine and smoothen out these Now, this part of the dress should be gray. Uh, it's not going to have the same color as the skin, obviously. So instead of making it uh, skin colored, we're going to make it light white or uh, dark white, which is a fancy word for gray. Let's select it and duplicate the dress. And let's also select the shady part and duplicate that too. Now we want only the intersection. What's intersect? The intersection should be colored gray. So let's select them both. Click on path, intersection, and we have the remaining part with and make it slightly gray. dark white as I like to call it and there we have a nice uh, shaded part of the dress strap let's set the shade of the body to be 4% and let's darken it a bit more something like that even more and let's increase just a little bit of blur for that part now we can also add a little bit of highlighting to her face let's add some highlighting to the edge of her nose we want the fill to be the same color as our skin, but then instead of darkening it a bit, lightening it a bit, the stroke can disappear. And let's move out these corners. Let's also highlight the forehead and each cheek a little bit. but add quite a lot of blur so that's it for highlighting I guess uh, there's more places where we could highlight and shade for example the front part of the arm could be highlighted mm, the neck as well the dress could use shading and highlighting as well as this Chesser treasure chest uh, but I'm gonna leave it for now I think you get the principle mm, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you just one last trick for increasing the ambience of this picture and for that I'm going to open the layers dialog and I'm going to unlock the background and I'm going to select this background image and just copy by pressing Ctrl C. Let's relock the background and open the picture and paste in place Ctrl Alt V. There we go. And let's add a duplicate gradient by clicking on the plus here. Then I'm going to modify it. And I'm going to click on this middle square and I'm going to increase the 
alpha channel the transparency to zero in other words 100% transparency in the middle and the corners are dark which gives a nice cozy view to the image thanks for watching see you in the next exercise bye bye